Okay, well here we go. And finally my speedometer adjustment tool is nearly finished. Uh, just to go back on what I'm trying to do. This is the inside of a speedometer, mini speedometer. And there is an optical switch in there. You see the light going on and off. Now I'm going to generate a pulse from there to give a, a measurement of RPM. But just for the purpose of this exercise, I'm using a little variable potentiometer there. So you can see as I'm turning this on the screen there, we're getting a higher or lower value. Okay. Now the plan is for the RPM of this to be reflected in the position of a speedo needle. Now to do that, I've got the Arduino there, which is running the code I've written linked to a stepper motor controller, which you'll see centre there. Under all the wires on the breadboard, unfortunately. But that's there, and that's connected to a stepper motor. Now, it's only a 5-volt stepper motor. Probably use a 12-volt one to make it faster. But basically, as the pulse rate here increases, that's reflected by the position of the needle. So if you watch this, as I turn this the needle turns, okay? Yeah. So instead of feeding in a value from this variable potentiometer, I'll be feeding in a pulse. Now I need to write the code to produce that pulse. But this is actually operating okay. Now as long as that response is quick enough, it can be a working speedometer, could even be a working tachometer, rev counter, but also you've got the opportunity of having quite a plush looking um, startup with the needle scaling across and back again. Now I'm going to carry on turning this, okay. And what you can see here are the LEDs which indicate particular channels of the server motor control. Now so wiring it up is essential wiring it up correctly is essential so that those pulses get fed to the stepper motor because this isn't an ordinary motor we're actually defining the position of it in the software so really that's where I stand so the next job is to get a pulse out of here and smooth it because in the best traditions of rover engineering it's not the, the most precise of uh, pieces of equipment I may go from a optical chopper through to a um, Hall effect transducer that works on a magnet or something like that but you can possibly see down there or possibly better there you go can you see that moving up down there that's the magnetic part of the speedometer and that's what the optical sensor is being interrupted by. Sorry, it's out of focus. I need to get myself another camera. Well, there we go. But all this is happening within the code. The value is changing. And you can use a, an old uh, steam dump that's uh, generated on the fly just to confirm that the right numbers are being fed to the Arduino. And that little microcomputer there costs about £12. So they are quite low budget, even though it might look quite complicated. I'm only using a breadboard because it's easier. And I'm not sure whether elastic bands are common practice, but we'll see if uh, we find something a little bit more professional. Okay, bye-bye.